Welcome everyone to a wonderful evening where we're going to be talking about all things complexion. And who do I have beside <laughs> me to help guide us through Everlasting Foundation, our newest foundation at Clarins, but Anne Salem. Hello everybody, welcome. I'm excited about this session. So am I. I I'm Charlotte Turner by the way. So you've got two complexion experts That's right. in front of you tonight and we are looking forward to introducing you to our newest foundation and some of our great skincare products. I'm excited and it's really important that we combine skincare and makeup because as you know our makeup is made for skin. I'm Anne Salem and I'm excited to be introducing you to the best way that you can enhance your skin with makeup and get the most out of your skincare combining your foundation with some of our favourite skincare products. Excellent. Well, Anne, let's start by talking about this new foundation, Everlasting. Because, yes. Because um, why is it so special? Why are we actually so excited about this well, foundation? Well, I know, <laughs> and we have been. And, and I'm sure that if you've seen a lot of uh, our girls on counter or if you've seen a lot of our advertisements, you'll know that we are excited about this foundation because this has quite a unique formula. It's quite yeah. unique to our other foundations and it's the last in our reformulation of our foundation wardrobe. And that's what's really exciting, Charlotte, mm. is that not only do we think about how good it will be for our customer's skin, but what the foundation will do for you instantly. And this foundation is no exception. 24 hour wear, I love a long wearing foundation. That's a bonus <laughs> for a in start. Itself. Yeah. Um, a beautiful matte velvet finish, mm. which means that it's sweat proof, a humidity proof, waterproof, emotion proof. Emotion proof, <laughs> we, we call it life proof, but it really does stand your day. So whatever you're doing throughout your day. You, you I could mean, be at the gym, could you? Absolutely. Potentially, yes. Absolutely. And you could also be in and out of the office, in and out of a sort of change of weather. Whatever you're doing yeah. that requires your skin to adjust to any climate, this is what this foundation will do for you. It'll withstand your day. It is a, it, there's a lot of expectations, <laughs> a lot of expectations. on Everlasting Foundation, and, obviously. And there is, and you know, I mean, look, the, it does come, it, it does come with its benefits of skincare, and that really mm. is what works hard for you. We have the bamboo powder, which of course is the mattifier in, in the product. The, the bamboo powder sort of acts as a bit of a radar. It senses when your, your yeah. skin is a little bit perhaps oilier, or it's beginning to be a little bit more shiny, the bamboo powder, kicks in and it starts to mattify, which, which is really great. It's, mm. an, it's an organic product. And of course, what binds the product to the skin? We don't use, if we can avoid it, of course, we don't use chemicals to bind our product That's to our so skin. That's so good to hear. Isn't it great? Yeah. And so we've, we've used oat sugars. And what the oat sugars do is not only does it help to tighten the skin, but it helps ad for the foundation to adhere to the skin. So what that means is that your skin and your foundation are seamlessly bonded. There's lots of features and benefits of this foundation. So what's the finish like? I mean, in, in terms of, um, you've said that it's it's a beautiful matte velvety finish. Yes. But what sort of coverage do you get? Because I mean, some some of us need more, some of us need less. Absolutely. But it's Absolutely. good to know what it is, what it offers. And do you know what, Charlotte? I, I really, I encourage when our customers are looking for a full coverage foundation. Mm. Try not to look for something that actually masks your face because that's yes. not what you want. And that's that's not the finish that you'll get with the Everlasting Foundation. And I think you've got your bottle. With I you. am absolutely proud to have my yes, bottle with me it's, it's today. A, it's a wonderful <laughs> bottle. I love the fact that it's made from 25% recycled glass. Yes. And the whole bottle All the eco-friendly elements. Yes, but the, the main benefit is that you can use it on its own mm -hmm. as an actual foundation on areas of concern, pigment or redness, but you can actually also layer it over your other foundations for a more buildable coverage. That's good know. to know. Yeah, and it's it's good to know because you want your foundation, you do never want to be wearing a foundation as a mask. No. I mean, the worst compliment you can get is, do your foundation looks good today? Exactly. Rather than, um, it's really actually beautiful, your skin, 
are you wearing foundation? Yeah, I want so, my skin my skin to be my foundation. That's right, <laughs> absolutely right. So if you have a bit of a look at, I don't know if, if our beautiful audience can see that, mm. but that is the finish with my thing. I'll press that out with my fingertips. And the more I sort of distribute the product, it sets and it does have a powdery finish that sets and stays put for 24 hours. Well, we are lucky because. in Australia because, of course, we're, some of us are still wearing masks. Yes. And so obviously what we want is that lack of transfer can yes. be really advantageous. I know we think we're out of the water, but when we're wearing, when we're wearing a mask, we certainly don't want to remove our entire face no, when we take it off. No, absolutely not. So, and this is mask proof. Lovely. Now, I've worn a colour that is a little bit lighter than my actual skin type. And, and mm, we all know that we never test our foundation on the back of our hand always on the face but just to show you the finish of that it is really matte but it still has a glow yep and it's mm. actually very sheer and feels very flexible on mm. the skin and i think as you say no mask means a much more enjoyable wear that's right so no. you feel like it is actually you it is exactly and and also you want to be able to wear a foundation that you're not worried about blending it all the way down the neck yes no tide lines <gasps> that's right it's really it's not great yeah. And, and really when you're applying your foundation, the sheerest application should be on the edge of your face. So you start with the center and you blend right out. So the sheerest application yeah. is towards the outer rim of the face. And when you get a perfect match, then you can do that. And I think also because, as you said, it is a, a sort of soft matte finish, it's also moisturising, isn't it? Is. it? it really like it is. feels like you've got, you don't feel light. powdery and sort of chalky through the day, which you can do with some of the long wearing foundations. Organic quinoa. Quinoa. I can't escape it. No. Lunchtime, face time, <laughs> really. Organic quinoa <laughs> extract. That is what makes it so light and and really almost fluffy, airy, air-like, because you don't want to feel that mm. heavy. I mean, the minute you hear matte 24 hour wear, you think chalky, cakey, mm. you'll never get that with that quinoa. It keeps no. it nice and light. Now, that's really great because I think, you know, as we know, uh, there's so many women in Australia, across Australia and New Zealand, that really want that outcome with their yes. foundation. Um, what if you were looking for something to make it potentially this foundation or other foundations in our range that are a bit more glowy? Like, how do you make this foundation a bit more flexible in the yeah. way that it looks on the skin? Oh, I think it's important, Charlotte. I think mm. it's important that when you are wearing your foundation, you don't you don't have that tightness. You, you do mm. want that glow sort of that comes from within a healthy looking skin. And I think the key to that is, first of all, getting the skin prepared correctly for a long wearing foundation. Yes. That's key. That's music to my ears. <laughs> <laughs> wearing the right skincare underneath is like, ding. That's right. Yes. <laughs> and, then, and then when you do have the right skincare, you think, okay, so today my skin looks really good. I don't need that extra coverage. Mm. What I like to do, and I'll show you what I'm going to do, because it's something that our customers Ooh. probably have in their wardrobe, their skincare wardrobe, is I like to add our oh, double serum. Double serum. What it's, could be better? It's, nothing could be better that, than that. And I'm sure uh, that it's come to a lot of our customers' attention that we're introducing this type of mixology to you all to teach you how to, first of all, get the most out of your skincare and your makeup and to help you become more uh, enriched when you're using our products. So the first thing I do is I use the little, the little dropper and I get a little bit on the... Um, See, I'm a bit ahead of you here. You are a bit ahead of me, <laughs> talking a bit too much. No. And then I get my foundation and I have one one pump. Now, it's a measured dose, Charlotte. Yes, I, I, I am listening yes. to you. Don't you worry. Don't overuse the foundation <laughs> because there it's there's 15% more pigment in this foundation than in our others. 
Yes, well, that's what gives so, it that fantastic coverage. And you're isn't giving it? it a nice stir there, Charlotte. I am yeah. giving, giving it a nice stir. <laughs> so we mix the two together, and you see, it doesn't affect the colour. No, it no. keeps the same tone. Same. It just gives that real resonance, it doesn't really does. it? It really does. It really does. Gives that skin, your skin, that sort of natural glow that we're all familiar with from Double Serum. I'm sure that there's a lot of our customers out yes. there who love Double Serum and use it underneath their moisturiser. Yep. Um, but maybe they didn't realise that you could mix it with your foundation and for a really positive effect and also I think customers are apprehensive of doing that so don't be fearful with makeup try and experiment with things so that you get the most out of it maybe you can teach us something that you're doing we'd love to share that wouldn't we, we? love tips we love tips all around all from sorts of wherever tips. they come from so that is now the double serum mixed with the foundation yes and that's the foundation on its own. You still There's still a glow there, but the double yes. serum gives it that lift of a glow. And it's nice sometimes just to have it's that. It's just natural, isn't it? I think that's what's lovely, is being able to have a glow that looks like it's about healthy skin. Yeah. Not that it's shiny no. or, you know, glittery no. or overly glossy. No, it's not about the, the glitter, it's just about the glow. Yeah, That's it's key. it's that eminence now, from within, which is just lovely. I personally, not only do I love that as a particular uh, mixology duo, yes. but do you know, I'm going to I'm going to keep going you're with the mixology. It, I'm taking, taking it, it to the next level. <laughs> taking it one step further. Because, I have to catch up because Anne. I've got we've got uh, beautiful customers out there that already know what I'm going to do because I'm sure they've been given this tip already on counter. I'm going to use our gorgeous SOS primer. Now this one is double zero. Oh, I, I love like double to zero. use double zero or zero one. Now you're probably wondering why am I using 00 or 01, which is the rosy one, which is the, the pink one? Because undertone differs from customer to customer. Yes. Doesn't it? It's so true. Look at yeah. us for Look an example. <laughs> I, have, I have a yellow bordering on neutral undertone and Charlotte has a yellow yeah, undertone. You're, you're trying to say that in a nice way, aren't you? Anne? No, but you, you, you have a it's lot more. pasty. And no, just a little bit more, actually a bit more colour than uh, in your uh, skin tone. And that's really, mm. um, and that comes through. So don't forget when you're matching a foundation, it's not about what the skin's doing on the surface, it's about what's happening underneath. So there's a little bit of a, a counterintelligence for you. So I love I, a bit of counterintelligence. You're doing zero zero. Well, then I am. How about I do zero one? Well, because my skin is a little bit more yellow, and I like the pink to balance that out. Whereas I don't like the pink because no. I, I find that I have enough of my own pink, pink. thank you very much. That's right. So Heighten I colour. would like something with a bit more luminosity and okay. that's the beauty of our SOS range is yes. that you can choose exactly what you need that's and right. exactly what your skin needs. And not all, you don't need a lot. As I said, the, the, the colour doesn't change. No, you don't change Just the, the tone at all. And, I mean, and you know, organic sea lily in our SOS oh. Prime, I mean, it's delicious. Well, that's where the hydration comes is. from, isn't it? No excess oils, oh. just a bit more glow. And that is mixed with the SOS Primer. And I'm just going in next to this. So you'll see the colour stays exactly the same. But I just want to show you the glow finish there as well. So that's no skincare, double serum and SOS 01. And I suppose all you're really changing is the amount of glow that you're including in your foundation, which is yep. which is good. You've got that sort of transferability depending on what your skin needs. I mean, sometimes we all wake up and we look much more fatigued yeah. than we did when we went to sleep. And, and you need a bit more. You do, you do. And and some people don't want to use double serum. Some may just no. want to use the primer and then because that's fair what enough. they have. And uh, absolutely fair enough too. But there's one other. <gasps> I know what you're going to say. Should it's good, it? actually, should, should that we, I do. Should we say it together? Three, two, one. <gasps> Beauty B flash bomb. So BFB <laughs> is our BFF. BFF. <laughs> Maybe we've been just yeah, around we've been, a little yeah, bit no, too long. I agree. 
But Beauty Flash Balm is one of those products that really, it's, a, it's tried, it's true, it's a heritage product, it's a product oh. most customers associate with our brand. It was my brand. first product yep. that I used with yeah. Clarence and yeah. I think that um, it's one of those products that continues to deliver mm -hmm. radiance yes. and so a soothing texture. It is. You always look better with Beauty Flash yeah, Balm. Yeah, it's almost like a smell of home. It's just, yeah. it's just, it's a reliable product. As I said, our products aren't mutually exclusive. You can mix them with your foundation, with the skincare layer products, them. with your mouth, yeah. with your foundations. Layer them, and Beauty Flash Balm is no exception. So I encourage you to try your products, keep them in a hybrid mode and mix them. But even though we've talked a little bit about mixing and how you sort of um, stack your products to get the best glow, that's that's just the foundation. Yes. It's not that complicated really. No. Once you get your own beauty routine sorted out, you really start to see your eye tunes in yes. to what you want from your skin. Yes. So. Can, my, my question is, and often we have questions from our customers on this, can you use your foundation around your eyes? Should you? Is that the right thing to do? Okay. What does our complexion know, expert say about this, Anne? <laughs> I'm, I, I like to think that as you would the, as you would consider the eye area a bit finer in texture, a bit sheerer in texture, that you wouldn't mm. use the foundation on the face around the eyes. This particular foundation is quite drying mm. around the eyes. The For face, the purpose. Yes, the face, it can, it can handle it perfectly, but around the eyes, you should really use an, an, a product that is exclusively designed for the around eye area. And that's where these gorgeous Everlasting Concealers come in. I'm very compliant to the message of yes. using the right tool for the right job. Now I do and but but then but also there are some people out there who have quite oily for example eyelids mm, and they true. think oh I just yes. use the excess foundation on my eyelids and then away I go and you know what it's not wrong. No. It's not wrong because if you've worked with that and it works for you go ahead but to get maximum efficiency from your products, you want to try and use the, the considered product for that area, and that's where I think these concealers come in. They're also oat sugar based. Great. They've got a lovely sheer consistency. They're flexible around the eye Very. area. Because it's a mobile area of the face. And you can it? use them on the eyelid. I love that. Oil free. Yes. Oat sugars again, and I'll just show you quickly what it looks like. Just, and you need such a small amount. That is actually quite a lot, but I wanted to show you, otherwise I can't really give you a good. So you they see that coverage. They really blend well, don't they? <gasps> Super good coverage around the eyes, dark circles. And when you are concealing the eye area, making sure that you actually work, I'm going to use my pointer, with concealer from the inner corner almost like a triangle. Mm. Can you all see that? Is that clear to you? So try not to work all the way out because then you start to affect yes. the foundation and other products out there. Concealing the dark circles and the inner corner is key. And then you can blend out and then, then the foundation can work its magic around the face. So definitely for the eye area, try and use an, an eye specific product. But you know, we can also mix this. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> because because we could tell. Yeah, I could tell. Because we've now actually eliminated <laughs> shadow. Yes. We've got a flexible moisturising surface. Yes. We are almost perfect. Almost. But we're never satisfied. No. It's the eye area, Charlotte. Everyone I know. wants it lifted and tightened and, you know, everyone. Now, the whole idea is that you embrace your lifelines. I agree. I, I, I like us. to. Well, I think that's me. But would I like it a bit more hydrated? Yes. Absolutely. Would I like my concealer oh. to go on a bit smoother? Yes. You are holding my favourite product <laughs> of all time this for the my, eye area. This is my favourite product too. Oh. This is unbelievable. I mean, well, we love it. Are you going to, that you're going to depress that because Dep I've got to <laughs> depress a slight amount on the back of my hand, please, Charlotte? I will. There you go. 
That's I'm generous if not to a fault. If, no, exactly <laughs> right. And and mixing that together. I know, it's beautiful. Don't you just yeah, love the just way gives it holds a lovely its tightness. form? So that mixed with the under eye, you feel that the concealer could be probably a little bit uh, bright, a little bit um, sort of drier or a little bit less movable. This gives a nice hydration. Mm. This gives a really Look good... Look at the gloss yes, on that. That's beautiful. <gasps> So that's nice for around the eye area. Oh. So there you go. Well, I will be taking that eye cream away from you. I can tell. Because I think I need a little bit more help in that area than you do. No, you and don't. And that's to your credit. Thank because you. Because you've prepared your skin prepared, perfectly. Prepared the skin, which is key. Makeup made for skin, Charlotte. Well, that's one of the, the lovely sayings at Clarins, makeup yes. made for skin. Yes. But I think that creates what would be considered as complexion perfection. And that's yep. something that we make our mission at Clarence, is Absolutely. to continue to perfect the complexion because skincare is very important. Yep. But I think all of us are incredibly um, eager to yep. get the end result. Yes. So whilst your skincare, and you may be using a very sophisticated blend of cleansers and toners and essences and you know, double serum, obviously, mm -hmm, a mm -hmm. moisturizer, a number of different layers that you may be incorporating into your beauty routine. That takes some time to work with your skin. It mm -hmm. might take a couple of weeks to really show the blossom of best of best ben benefits. Yeah. But a makeup product, mm, it's I know. instant. It is instant. It's so it is. gratifying to, it is. to get that result and really think, you know, it actually gives you a really positive outlook because you look at your skin and you think I'm not too bad at all no, you're not great <laughs> with all you, that effort I think if you can if you can find the confidence from when you're wearing your makeup you find the confidence from that then I think that's fantastic so look we've talked top layer mm -hmm. there's a bit beneath the surface here just a little that we probably need to discuss at this point yes because you know why because we've put everything on <gasps> How are we going to get Take it that off. off? That's right. That's where you come in. That's where I come Your in. I'm the remover. The removalist. The removalist. <laughs> well, I've still got mine on the back of my hand. Well, that's very good. Now, as Anne said, this is a long wearing foundation, 24 mm -hmm. hours. So you do. it does come to your mind. You do think, how am I going to remove yep. it? It yep. is, I'm here to tell you, it is important to remove your makeup at night. Yes. I know sometimes a late night <laughs> you think, it's 50-50 here, but really let's do it because obviously your skin can become masked mm -hmm. by debris, even though our products have an anti-pollution complex, yes. which we probably didn't mention no, earlier didn't. on, but that's this is a good time to do it. But diehard Clarins customers they know They probably that. know, that's maybe yeah. why they buy it. That's, and that anti-pollution complex, I mean, that has, for us, that has major benefits for the skin. Huge benefits. Blue light pollution, free radicals, everything that works against your skin on a day-to-day -day basis, well, we have an anti-pollution complex that is that is uh, inbuilt. Yes. It's part of our DNA at Clarence through all our products. So, and I think that's, I think that's pretty special. It makes you feel a bit slightly smug when you yes. go out into our, into our aggressive our world, world and environment. We've got something working for us that's silent on our skin. Our founder knew what he was doing. He was a visionary in more Absolutely. than one way. Absolutely. Massive visionary. <laughs> so um, let's then think about taking off. So okay. we've talked a little bit about incorporating skincare into foundation. So yep. we've talked about double serum mixing it yes. um, to give a nice healthy glow from within. Mm -hmm. But let's take off now and think about how do we first of all efficiently remove foundation so it doesn't sit in, in the pores and lines mm -hmm. and then how do we purify the skin because one of the wonderful things about our cleansers is not only are they efficient they are also made and composed with formulas that draw their natural ingredients from our own estate high up in the French mm. Alps and Don't that pass. is yeah when you are momentarily removing the skin's barrier and cleansing the debris from the skin you want to be doing that in a very sensitive way you yes. want them, the skin, to understand that we've got you. Yep. And we're only going to take exactly what we need and we're going to give back immediately. And that's our cleansing range. 
Charlotte, are you? I mean, I know there's a lot of a lot. There's a lot of talk around cleansing. What's quick? You know, two clean. One cleanser does two jobs. Mm. But I, I'm still a very, very firm believer in the double cleanse. I love a bit of a double cleanse. Same. <laughs> Same. I wonder if it's just where we are at. I think it might be genetic. Yeah. <laughs> but we've right. all, always said we just sometimes don't know where one begins and the other double ends. ends. So. Exactly right. So you think a double, a double cleanse? Absolutely. Plan. For this product, most yes. definitely. Yes. Because it does have that um, greater longevity on the skin. Yep. So we would start with what is an amazing product, and yes. that is the Total Cleansing Oil. Okay. Now, the reason I say this is thank you very much, Mum. I'm going to put it on your lap because you know yes. I can be messy well so I'm going to put it in my hand and I'm going to put it in your hand okay. and a small amount is all that's required okay. truly mm -hmm. to um, to create a good cleansing effect so always warm always warm your product so you don't assault the skin yep and then press that product dry onto your foundation even the oil, you even yes. warm the oil. Warm mm. the oil because the more you, the more fluid the oil is, okay. it becomes better to work with. And then what it does is it just lifts those impurities off the skin. Fantastic. So with a double cleanse, one cleanse removes the makeup. It does, and the other then cleanses and balances the, the skin. skin. Mm. So, as you can see, it's still got the sheen yeah, of oil on it, it. and the wonderful thing about this um, mm -hmm. product is it transforms with a zhush of water, mm -hmm. it transforms into a, a very oh, light yes. milk. Mm. So what that does is it lifts the pigments and the components of the foundation from the pores mm -hmm. and from the skin. Okay. And um, that can then be, thank you for my Pleasure. tissue, it can then be pressed and whisked away. Ooh. Ooh. So revealing my golf glove hands. <laughs> hands. So Perfect. a really efficient way of doing that. Now that is still the first yes. stage. Yep. So the second stage, because we're imagining now we're in our glorious bathrooms at home mm -hmm. and we're about to step into the mm. shower to do our second cleanse. Okay. Which would be with a beautiful foaming cleansing mm -hmm. this one this one here is the hydrating foaming cleanser yes. and I might just pop a little bit on the back of my hand okay. and then a little bit on your hand there and you can see that it's a soft fluffy oh, foam so nice. which um, will not only cleanse mm -hmm. but balance the skin and again you'll be in your bathroom you'll be in your beautiful mm -hmm. rainfall shower uh, and that will birds whistling yeah that's right like a spa <laughs> um, and the water will help to emulsify the foam to give it a light foamy effect mm. but charlotte you said foam but it's not no. foamy as the traditional no i think we've foam. all been left to believe that foam needs to be very very voluminous Yes. And the reality is, at no place on your skin does foam exist. No. So it, it's nat more natural to have a creamy kind of yep. emulsion. Yeah. My and goodness. with water, that's oh washed off beauty. How nice. Oh my goodness. I know. Do I know we're smell tragic. A, smell but a camera through here. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. So nice. It oh is my goodness. so beautiful. I am. I'm really. And then all you do after that is you step out of the shower. We're assuming that you're in the shower. Yes, we are. <laughs> um, and you tone, which of course you would do so with um, mm -hmm. the beautiful hydrating toner, mm -hmm. which is you can do with a cotton round or a, a non-disposable round. And I've done this for you, actually. Oh, thank you. So there you go. I've now, prepared toner. that one for you. Did you now, oh my goodness. Charlotte. I know. <laughs> that smells incredible. We are completely tragic. I know that. Look, look at that. <laughs> I know. That's so. So, toner. So toner just helps you to complete the, the cleansing process. The great thing about our toners are, of course, they have a microbiota complex in mm -hmm. them that balances the surface of the skin. Mm -hmm. So you'll never feel tight or dry after toning. You'll just feel calm. And relax. I've which had is a question. Amazing. Do you have? We've just had a question. Is it necessary to tone? Well, 
Mm. Can you mean, will you be penalised if, you, if don't. you don't? If you don't. Obviously. How important is toning? It, look, it's a very important step in the cleansing process. It really does finish things off beautifully. Mm. And for us, as I said, the microbiota complex is a very big benefit right. to your ongoing skincare routine. Mm -hmm. But we often get the question from our customers, mm -hmm. what about an essence? Yes. So if you are an essence lover, and a lot of our customers are, then you would follow your toner with an essence, which is an easy step. Mm -hmm. What we like to think of with an essence is that it is the lock and key to mm -hmm. the improvement of your skin. Mm -hmm. So again, you warm it up, you lay it on the surface and you press it in. Now, so that we've sort of come full circle. We have. <laughs> we have. Is an essence, is it essence or toner or is it both? It can be both or it can be either or. Okay. And again, that's where it's fabulous to be able to have the services of a beauty consultant right. who can really look at what you're trying to achieve with your skin and personalize that program to suit your needs. Mm -hmm. I mean, for me, I'm a firm believer in the lock and key. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, as you want to achieve different things with your skin, the more protectors you have in your beauty program, the better the results that you get. Yeah. The more you put in, Absolutely. the better you get out. That's, and it is about the investment. It is, the energy that you put behind it can really deliver the kind of results that you deserve with your skin. Okay, so we've essenced now. So, of course, everyone would be what? shouting out, Double, Double serum! serum. <laughs> <laughs> and that is definitely the next step. So we're assuming that you've stepped out of your glorious bathroom yes. and you're ready to now go to bed, mm -hmm. um, we, which would be lovely if you were. With, with double serum. With double serum. And again, warming this product is so important on the skin surface because a cold product feels like an assault on the skin. Yeah. A warmed product is so comforting. Mm -hmm. So the skin's more open to improvement when it's warm. So press the product into the skin, no rubbing or, oh. you know, the poor skin, it needs yeah. your support. TLC. <laughs> so press it in to enable you to get a really, really great absorption rate. Um, and that will give you the best results. We've, we've, we've really looked after this hand. Uh, we are going to be the youngest hands on the planet tonight <laughs> because we've certainly give them, given them an amazing, amazing treatment. But it pays off. Coming back to where we started yep. um, tonight, it pays off in the formation of the foundation. It does. Doesn't it? It really does. And look, I mean, not every foundation is for every skin type. Just as the skin care you, need, you choose needs to be specific, it's the same with the foundations. True. Even though we are talking about the everlasting foundation, we have the e everlasting youth fluid, which is our firming foundation. Perfect. And then we have the skin illusion for the bare skin effect. So similar concept, different skin care, different foundations. Look oh yes, me. my favorite. I know, so I, just to add to your, um, your points about the everlasting youth fluid, you know, there's nothing more youthful than moisturising, yes, effectively. So absolutely. what we're doing here is we're warming our plant gold, which is our 100% natural moisturiser. And it's a great um, base product to your foundation, whether it's everlasting youth fluid, whether it might even be something a bit more glowy and transparent yeah. from illusion. our range Skin Illusion. Yeah. Um, and it really does provide you with not only that moisture mm. and that base for foundation, but... Mm. It feels and smells so beautiful. Because I think one of the things that are so important when it comes to your skin is you have to enjoy doing it. You have to get something out of the process that yeah. makes you feel calm and relaxed and confident at the end of the day. You look at yourself and you think, I am not too bad today. You're great today. <laughs> I may have not have got the best amount of sleep <laughs> last night, but I look better for it. 
And certainly, when you press the moisturiser into your skin and you feel that sort of silky mm. feel on mm. the surface, then you put your foundation over the top mm. and suddenly you've had eight hours of That's sleep right. and you look perfect again. Which and you is get that great. great sort of finish that looks blurred so it doesn't sit in any of the lines and it's, it's a really nice smooth application. Now we talked a little bit about around the eye um, and mixing the foundation but yes. of course we wouldn't want to leave you with the impression that you couldn't just wear an eye cream. No, <laughs> you don't always have to conceal. No, absolutely and if the under eye area isn't dark or you don't have any uh, any concerns around the eye area absolutely just eye cream and then just blend your foundation through. But it's really important when you do have the right shade of foundation that that will work. That will work. When you have the right shade, blending it seamlessly into the skin is, is easy to do. So um, Exactly. Yeah. So are we, do we have some questions from our beautiful audience or any comments or anything that you want to hey, us let's to have a look. answer? Let's have a quick look. Because We've been obviously... With, oh, yes. Ooh, oh. Ooh. Should we do makeup first or skincare first? Let's do makeup, shall we? I knew I've you were going to say iPad. makeup. Let's, Give it to the old girl. Okay, <laughs> how do I stop foundation creasing and bunching up into fine lines and wrinkles? What a great question. It's a really good question. And it's a question we get asked uh, quite a bit. Now we did talk about key is preparation of the skin. And it's really important to prepare the skin with the best possible uh, uh, products. So your moisturizer, and then I think uh, you're keeping it nice and uh, hydrated. Hydrated is really key. Now, how do I stop it from creasing and bunching up? Well, first of all, your application. Don't okay. apply too much. Start with sparingly. a... Sparingly. So sparingly. Ooh. And and use your fingertips because your fingertips will help massage the product into the areas you think you need it rather than applying a face mask, if you like, all over the face. Um, yeah, fine lines and wrinkles. I love those. I know, you have keep, to learn to love some of them. Yep, keeping <laughs> the skin nice and, and supple underneath. And then at times, if you just set certain areas with a light dusting of translucent powder, it stops the creasing. It does. It stops the creasing really well. There's a real technique about there that is. though, isn't there? You there don't is. want to, again, like you say, never too much. No. Always start with the smallest amount yep. and then build from and, there. And try just working on areas rather than all over. Normally, I mean, for myself, I usually work in the center of my face where I've got a bit mm. more pigmentation or a little bit more discoloration. So I try not to work all the way down the jaw if I, if I don't need it. Yes. But I will show our beautiful oh. viewers another product that I like to use. This actually will help stop the creasing if you're applying with a sponge. So if you damp your sponge with some Fix Makeup Spray, I don't know if you can see that there. If you can damp your sponge with some Fix Makeup Spray um, or even damp your face before you apply the foundation, it'll help stop the creasing. And there's definitely a skincare element to the Fix Makeup Spray as well yes. with the refreshing rose. nature of yes, it and the it grapefruit is. extract. It, it does hydrate the skin with the rose and the grapefruit extract and I think that's a, that's a beautiful product that we do. But going back to that uh, question that we yes. had, I mean obviously when you work, uh, live and work in air conditioning, which we do a lot, yes. then something like Fix Makeup Spray yep. just at your, at at your, your desk, desk or Absolutely. just to spritz through yep. the day. It's a great way of maintaining the freshness of your makeup. And locking it in. Mm. So if you are in the morning if, or during the day, if you feel that there's evaporation of hydration, this will lock it in. So it's really good. Would we you like a skincare product. question? Why not? Okay. What skincare products should I invest in and what can I get away with? <gasps> oh, I like That's that one. That's a hard question. That's, but it's true, But it's a Charlotte. good one. It's, it's a real. It's a great it's, one. It's the reality of where our customers are. I think to start with, it's about deciding what you really want to achieve with your okay. skin. Like, what do you want it to look like? What are your priorities when it comes to improving your skin? And sometimes the answer to that question is that you don't know. You just want it to look better. And if that's the case, then double serum is definitely mm -hmm. the man that you look for. Yeah. 
or woman, yeah, whichever. Yes, because it's some. It's a product that you can use. It's almost like a multivitamin mm -hmm. for the skin. So even if you don't know that there are certain areas that aren't functioning as well as they could, mm -hmm. this will take in all of that low functioning on the skin and give you a beautiful radiance. It helps with um, fine lines and pores. It gives you an overall anti-aging boost. And because it's both oil and water and mm -hmm. contains an elixir of all of our most efficacious uh, plants and herbs, it delivers a real vitamin shot to the skin. Mm, mm. So it's almost like a, it's an insurance policy. Mm. If you're not 100% sure, then always include that morning and night. So, so Charlotte, what you're saying is they can get away without, for example, Without, like some people are very concerned to have a number of different serums mm -hmm. on their skin. Mm -hmm. And I think if you want to get away with just one, morning and night, then definitely double serum. Okay. Well, a moisturizer is super important. Yes. Because that locks the moisture in. Because a serum, even double serum, yes. it's not designed to be a moisture protective. No. It's just designed to be an action orientated product. Okay. It delivers results. Okay. You need to protect those results with a moisturiser. Well, that's good to know. So you need action products in your skincare wardrobe. We like a bit of action. Bit of action, okay. <laughs> I'm going to go with the, with the makeup question, if oh, that's okay with okay. you. Does the Everlasting Foundation have SPF and will there be flashback in photographs? It does not have an question. SPF. And it's a very good question. Mm. And it's a question I hope most, uh, um, most women who live in Australia ask. No, there's no SPF in the Everlasting Foundation and there's a couple of reasons for that. The main reason is that because there is 15% pigment in this particular product, it's most effective without SPF. Once you include SPF into a formula, it detracts from what it's supposed to do, which is act as a foundation, the layer of, mm. of, of makeup on the skin. That's the first thing. And any amount of SPF in a foundation, if it's greater than 15, SPF 15, it becomes uh, less long wearing, um, it becomes less humidity proof, less waterproof. So the efficacy of what it's supposed to do isn't there. Mm. So we haven't included an SPF, but we are all, and I know our customers are all very educated in SPF and you realize that any amount of SPF in a foundation or a makeup product should never be your primary source of SPF. You should always be using an external primary SPF of 30 plus or more, especially for our Australian climate. So yeah, so I hope that answers your question. Skincare question. How can I, oh I like this one. Oh! How can I tell if my skin is dry or if it's thir just thirsty and dehydrated? Oh, that's a good Charlotte, question. Yes. This is a person who knows. Yes. Okay. Well, generally, um, your skin, dryness is part of your skin type. Mm -hmm. And thirstiness or dehydration can be part of the environment. So it can be a condition that is imposed upon the skin as a result of the environment. Mm -hmm. So generally, if you look at your skin and you can see some very fine crinkly lines, yes. then that's usually, if when you smile, your skin sort of crinkles a little bit mm. more rather than wrinkles, which is always a better option, Yes. Um, then it's usually dehydration. And if you marry that with the environment that you live and work in, then that's usually a good indication that it might okay. be dehydration. Okay. But certainly if you've got a little bit of an oil flow down the T-zone, which is always to your advantage, then your skin isn't truly dry. Mm -hmm. Dryness is usually characterized by um, flakiness and particularly over the cheek area where you have less oil glands. Okay. So yes, again, I would recommend that you visit it at one of our counters where our experts are w awaiting your uh, service and they will be able to give you a very good personalized consultation. They're wonderful on counter. Oh, they're so good. Oh, they just they care so much about they skin care and so our customers. Much. So one more question with the double serum because I think this is a really important question. Great, yes. And just to let you know, if we haven't been able to get to your questions tonight, we will message you privately. We will answer all of your questions. So please don't stop um, asking and inquiring about the health of your skin. But one more. I love using the double serum and the way it makes my skin feel. 
but I find it makes my skin feel a little bit too oily by the end of the day. Am I doing it wrong or should I be using a different serum? Well, Thank that's you to a great that. question. That's a fabulous one. Look, I, I don't think I could ever say that anyone does anything wrong. Okay. So there's no right or wrong. Okay. I think p potentially what you could do to correct that situation is maybe use that press method. Mm -hmm. So really pay more time or put more effort into the pressing because okay. I think some people think that pressing is just touching the skin. Yep. But actually, it is applying quite a bit of pressure. Okay. So if you think three kilos of pressure, it's quite a lot of it pressure. Is a lot. Okay. And then that leaves the surface smooth and non oily. Okay. So that's, well, that's the good. first thing that I would try. I, I wouldn't write double serum off no. straight away. Or maybe the dose, maybe use the small dose. Well, look, definitely at, at when it comes to winter versus summer, right. you can really adjust the amount you're um, applying. But yep. I think it's definitely about the application. Warming to make the product more mobile on mm -hmm. the skin and pressing it very meaningfully into the skin until okay. you get that smooth and soft finish. Perfect. Um, this one is for makeup. Up. When should you put on your SPF? Well, I always, it, with or without makeup, I think if you are wearing foundation, it's the last skincare product before your foundation yes. or your makeup products. So before primer and then before foundation. And if you're not wearing foundation, it's the last product after skincare. So first before any makeup product, but last after any skincare product. That Great. Right? That sounds very good. Can we have one more makeup question? Yes. Do we have time for one more makeup question? Okay. What is the best recommended tool for makeup or foundation application? Is it a sponge or a brush, etc.? Okay. This I is, love that this, question. <laughs> this is a good question. And you know that we do our amazing brushes at Clarins and we do an amazing foundation brush which is very light. It's a multi-purpose brush and it's really Luffy. good for buffing in the foundation. I like to use a sponge as well, um, and when depending on what I'm doing. If I'm just having a light coverage, and I think it's just a quick, easy fingers, if I want to build the product, then I do start with a brush and go in with a sponge over the top, and um, and then it's where you think you need more application. But but I definitely like a sponge and a brush to buff through any excess. Yeah, I love a sponge mm -hmm. too. I, I think love it's, a sponge. It's easy to control. It's nice to start with a brush yeah. though, isn't it? Just yeah. to get the application yeah. all over and then perfect. And then yeah, and then perfect. And I th and then I think that's I think we've been we've been tell that's I think that's all we've got time for. So I hope you've got a lot out of tonight. I hope they have. To. I've got a lot of out of tonight. Well, me too. Well, I've we spend time together. And yes. There's it's always a, a little bit of magic. That it's comes always. Out. We hope you have felt the magic. We've enjoyed delivering the magic. And um, what let us know what um, yes. what other things you want to hear about from Clarence, because um, obviously we've got plenty to talk about. Yes, plenty in to our share. long history with Clarence. Yes, that's right. <laughs> um, so plenty of material to draw from, but the most important thing is you. Yes. What you want to hear about, what you enjoy using from the Clarence range, what you want to know more about. Yes. Um, anything that we can do to help you to manage your beauty more successfully, we are devoted to doing. We are. We are devoted to you, our Clarence customer, and we want to say thank you for joining us tonight. Yes, thank you for giving up your evening That's right. and um, spending a little time with the two of us talking about our favourite subject. Skincare and makeup. <laughs> exactly. Good night.